Let's start at the beginning of the chain with the example of John, an investor. After a meeting with his banker, he decides to invest by buying units of a mutual fund. Mutual funds are savings products. They offer partial ownership of a portfolio held jointly by several investors. The management of this portfolio is entrusted to a professional, and the units of this portfolio can be purchased and sold at any time by an investor. Company X, a management company, has recently launched a new auto sector equity fund aimed specifically at investors like John. To finalize his investment, John signs a subscription form with his bank in order to acquire units of the fund managed by Company X. He then opens a securities account where his financial assets will be kept. As for the bank, its role is to purchase the units of the fund managed by Company X. The fund units are therefore recorded on John's securities account, who now owns them. Casius, as the administrative agent appointed by Company X, manages the fund's accounts. Company X uses the money invested by John to buy securities on the financial markets. It then sends the confirmations of the transactions executed on the financial markets to Casius, who enters them in the accounting records. At the end of this chain, we find Peter, Casius' fund accountant, and his team, who will manage the fund's accounts by monitoring the assets and the liabilities, calculate the net asset value of the fund units, which is the value of one unit, and lastly, produce financial reports for the management company. A fund administrator is therefore an agent approved by the local supervisory authorities. Casius, a Credit Agricole Group subsidiary, administers 1,573 billion of euros of assets, making it Europe's leading fund administrator.